Hey everybody, welcome back to Regina's World. Um, this video is just a quick one because I just wanted to put my opinion out there. Uh, since the world is talking about Rihanna and the Super Bowl, I know it's some days later, but I was a little busy so I couldn't sit down in front of the camera. But I wanted to, before this was no longer a hot topic, give my opinion of how I felt about the Rihanna Super Bowl. So I'm not going to hold you. I'm going to get right to it and then I'll move on to my next video. Okay, so I was like the rest of the world. I'm a huge Rihanna fan. Every Everybody knows that I love Rihanna, like live or die by Rihanna. I think she can do no wrong, period. I never have. I follow Rihanna since the beginning. Um, I remember her first song that ever came out when it was, I can't remember the name anymore, but it was like the Caribbean when she was a good girl. And then, and then my sister, I remember the day it came out, I fell in love with the song. My sister was like, I knew you was going to like this. <laughs> Uh, but anywho, from that point on, when she first came out to all her, I know every Rihanna song ever created. And like, I'm true a Navy. I'm a part of the Navy. So I'm going to give my real opinion about what I felt the Super Bowl was. So I actually didn't see um, the, the beginning of the Super Bowl. I was nowhere that I could watch it until I got um, to actually my client's house. By the time I got to my client's house, the Rihanna performance was actually just starting. So I had so much anticipation. The wife was talking to me. I was like, can you stop talking for a moment while I'm watching Rihanna? <laughs> so before I even get my, my, my opinion, this is how I actually felt. Even though I'm a Navy, I'm a Navy, I'm a part of the Navy. I went to one of Rihanna concerts way back in the day when she did the Loud album and she did the Loud tour and she came out here to Las Vegas and I went to her concert. And then I said, um, I would never go back to a Rihanna concert because even though I love her, I love her music. I know every song that she's ever created from off of every album. I still listen to each one of them to this day. I said, I would never go back to a Rihanna concert because even though I love her and I love her music, the concert didn't give, give, give it to me. I left very unfulfilled when I go to a concert I don't want to feel like that I want to feel like I have sweated out my perm I've had time in my life and I just didn't get that when I went to the concert I felt like I spent the money but I didn't get what I needed to give so I said I would never go back to a Rihanna concert so that was my fear of her doing the Super Bowl I was like I hope that I don't get this because this is the Super Bowl like like give us a show you know, I was expecting certain things, looks. I really didn't care about the dancing, but I was expecting the music, looks, and and a whole a, a flowing locks. That's what I was looking for. And beautiful face. That's what I was looking for for Riri. So when the performance happened, I was not comparing it to Beyonce like the rest of the world. Everybody comparing it to Beyonce. Everybody can't Beyonce. I love Beyonce too. I'm I'm a part of the beehive. But Everybody can't be Beyonce. So um, I was just taking Rihanna for what it was. And frankly, for me, I was let down for two or several reasons here. So my when I because I watched it twice. And the first initial watch was, was shocked the world. Everybody found out she was pregnant for a second baby. But prior to that, this is this is me watching it the first time. Why I was let down? Because it just wasn't, it just didn't give me a show. It just didn't. I the Was the set beautiful? Sure. But it should have been more with the set. I wasn't, I didn't care about the colors. If the colors changed, great. But it was just black, red, and white the entire time. It was just too much red and white for me, period. So, and then the dancers was great. Yes, the dancers gave everything. Um... What she was missing, as of course, I said, I needed some long locks. If you're going to rock that ponytail, I need that ponytail to be to the floor, whipping it around, shaking that ponytail. I was looking for a, a badass outfit for Rihanna. And if the baby was the, the, you know, is the focal point of the show, shoot, even that outfit that she had on would have been crazy if she just took off all that stuff. The big coat and the shoes. And if she would have had them shoes as some, some boots, some Rihanna boots, you know, with the edgy snaps all the way up to the thighs and let baby baby number two be the, the show. I mean, let that be it. Give it to us. Give us re-read. Give us what we know for. 
you just did a magazine shoot. It just literally just came out today. And I'm like, that's Riri. Sexy, beautiful, locked, sexy, just, just sexy for no reason. Give us that. She didn't give us that for the Super Bowl. That part of me just fell flat. So the, the, inter well, I'm not an entertainer, but in my mind, I said, what a, a, a bigger show would have been what we needed. Like there was no creative director. She didn't, you could tell this was all Riri. This was her decision. This was what she wanted to do, period. There was no creative director. Because if there was a creative director, somebody would have told her that this wasn't, this, this was, this was lacking a lot of stuff. So in my mind, this is what should have happened. Even though I'm nowhere in any music industry, I have no, you know, no qualms in it. But if I was a performer, if I was on Riri's team, I would have gave her some, some, you know, just, Hey, this is what you could have did. So the first thing in my mind, as I'm watching the show, I'm like, just because the Super Bowl 15 minutes, I would have revamped certain songs and either made them all reggae and get a, a like a, a, a what do you call it? Homage or whatever was the, what I guess that's the word to Barbados. I would have had everything Barbados, flags, the colors, everything would have been bright. Everything would have been, my dances would have been in whatever the colors for Barbados. Is it black, green, and red? I don't know if that's Jamaican color. I don't know. Whatever the colors for Barbados, it would have been that. The music would have been reggae. All of my dances would have been like reggae or Jamaican. They would have been moving all sexy. I would have had it homage to Barbados. And just celebrating my country. I would have had the flag everywhere. All of my lights would have been the color of Barbados. Like, like you know, give us your, your flavor. You know, you got 15 minutes to set it off. Set it off and represent your country, okay? That's one idea. The second idea would have been, I would have took a little a detour, like a drum line. I would have had a band, a live band. I would have took it down from memory lane. I would have been like, all my Rihanna fans, let's have a party. Let's celebrate each big um, big hit of mine throughout the years, starting from the time I started, the first record ever been played on the radio up until the last, not including any collabs with anybody else. My biggest hits that I created over the years, I would have had the band playing just like Drumline. I would have had my band rotating into those years of whatever the the um the year that song was created on the ground i would have had dances on different levels like on each side of the band in the middle and each side the dancers on this side dancing on this side dancing rihanna at the top middle so she want to be floating and shit she would have been at the top you know singing her music dance over here band down here that would have been a sick ass show and then certain songs you know she had fireworks and stuff going i would have fireworks uh flames everything i would have had that stuff big as i don't know what this is when a creative director is involved i would have sat down and you know give me ideas give me ideas these these are just my ideas in my mind would have been a great show once i found out i would have was pregnant and I still knew I had to put on a 15-minute show, this is what I would have did. I would have said, who have I collaborated with the most and I could get a great shot out of this? I would have called up DJ Kelly real quick because her and DJ Kelly have collaborated over the years with so many songs. And I would have hit him up and like, look, I have to do the Super Bowl 15 minutes and I'm five months pregnant or whatever. I can't do all that moving and shaking. So this is what I have in mind. I'm going to put on my show, but I won't to do all the songs that we've ever collaborated on, bring on the artists that we've collaborated on, on them songs, let them shine through the Super Bowl. It's still my Super Bowl, but let them shine. You know, I would have had different sections, just like reminiscing of last year, different sections for each song. So I don't know how they to set it up, but it would have been like four different songs, like three, four minutes for each song. What is it? Three? Yeah, about three, four minutes for each song. And then... Let those artists, you know, shine for that moment. Once that section is over, move on to the section. She could have just rotated it, rotated, <laughs> rotated like I had a little, little triangle set up going on. She could have literally rotated from each each little section, had her moment, sang, you know, did her singing with all of the, the people. And that show would have been off the chain. It would have been so many celebs, so many collabs, 
so many people, you know, having fun on stage. And she could have just, you know, had a badass outfit on, even the outfit that she had on again with some long ass locks or whatever, had the, the band up there. She could have been doing one of those Beyonce situations, going with the band, bending over, you know, just having a good time on stage. She didn't have to dance at all. But if she would have collaborated with other people, it would have made the show better. I think that's what it was missing. Even though she had great hits, of course Rihanna got hits. That's why we love Rihanna. Uh, but if she would have collaborated, it would have took some of the pressure off of her and put it on somebody else. She could have just looked standing there looking beautiful in front of a mic and everybody else would have, you know, gathered around her and made the show what it was. And she just stand up, be pregnant and let everybody else do the work. That's just my opinion. That's what we were missing. So, you know, I wasn't expecting Rihanna to, you know, do all this dancing because we know Rihanna to do that. She can do a little two-step here and there, but she's not a big dance. She never have been. What we love for Rihanna is her music, the, you know, a big show, a big production, and, you know, fashions and shit. You know, let everybody else do it. Give us what we used to. So I was actually let down the first time. Like, I really was. I'm just like, oh, I scored this. I'm not going to give it a seven. I was like, I'll give it a five, six to me. That's the, that was my first, that was my first reaction to it. It was like a five, six. I wasn't really impressed. I was like, oh man. So when I got home, I rewatched it again for the second time. And I had different lens on this time. I, I, I looked at it again in a sense of for exactly what it was this time. So I'm looking at Rihanna this time, the second time I'm watching it, in a whole different view. I was looking at it because the world wanted her to, the world wanted her to, well, it was so many rumors, first of all. She was dropping an album. She was going on tour. She was doing all this stuff. And when I watched it the second time, I was like, no. What I see was a billion on stage who is no longer interested in the music industry. That's what I saw. I saw somebody who did a like a farewell performance on stage. She's in a different uh, time in her life right now. She's in, she's did that. She's been there. She's done that. She has passed, she is passing the torch to these young women who's coming in and trying to fill her shoes at this moment, who likes to do all these performances, who got to work and put they put their years in into the music industry and do all the touring and do all this hard work to get as many fans as possible to get, you know, she's been there and done that. This is something that she can check off. I did the Super Bowl. Now I've done everything. I've traveled the world with 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 the with um the music industry i made my records i did this i got 101 um number one hits i did all of this what is there left for me to do there's nothing left for her to do in the music industry and for her yes we love her music yes we love her music and we would love for her to give us more music but honestly what i was looking at i was like i'm not looking at somebody who who wants to do an album even they did you know articles of her saying that we don't know when there's another album coming or whatever of course because she's not worried about an album unless she have to do an album unless rock nation or whoever she's with forces her to make an album but it's like almost eight years now if it ain't coming it ain't coming yet yeah, will she probably drop music here and there a single here and there probably but she has made her money outside of music with fenty her lingerie and her uh, makeup there was really no need for her to come back and slum with the music industry and do all of that anymore when she don't have to. She's going to let her, her her boyfriend ASAP do all that. And she's going to sit herself down and create her money just like she's been and raise her children. There is no reason for Riri to get back on stage and do all that. And that's what I was looking at the second time. So I looked at a mom up there saying, here you go, fans. I know you've been waiting to see me. Here you go. But I am done. So if Rihanna decided to get on the on and put up a post and say, I'm retired from music, I would not be surprised. I totally would not be surprised at this point because there's nothing more that we need to prove. Like there's nothing more that she needs to prove. And I respect her. She's up in age. She's what, 34, 35 now. 
and or she finna be 35 she's got she's getting to the age where she's done with that she don't have to do all that other stuff anymore she has successfully branched to other venues to making money other than music and that's what she successfully has done other than someone like beyonce not we love beyonce and Beyonce consistently have to make music because Beyonce have not successfully branched out to get, um, like, re successfully with other ventures that she don't have to make music anymore and she don't have to tour. And I'm sure at some point, Beyonce probably tired. She's almost 40. Um, will she probably, you know, continue on? But unlike Riri, Riri has successfully figured out how to tr- successfully transition from the music industry to something else successfully, and she ain't going back, and I don't blame her. So for that, I understand, and for that, I say kudos to Riri, and and I, we still love you. You ain't lose no fans out here. We understand, especially as moms. We totally understand. If we could do it, we surely heck would. So for that, I had to, um, ex, you know, look at it a little differently. And I saw it differently the second time. The first time it was just, you know, what I wanted to see happen. And then the second time I saw it as, you know, you know, she's not doing, this is not her anymore. And now for that, I, I had to, I accepted it out of that. I accepted it the second time. So my criticism still stands, but it kind of, it left after I watched it the second time. So that's my personal opinion. I don't see Rihanna ever making real music anymore. I don't see her making another album anymore. This was her, probably her last time. We probably see her on stage ever. You know, like her life is Fenty clothing, Fenty lingerie, and makeup. Music ain't it. So that is my personal opinion on the Super Bowl. And I was actually rooting for the Chiefs. And I wish I would have actually bet it because I probably would have made some money. But I was rooting for the Chiefs, and I'm glad to see them win. And that's my opinion on Rihanna and the Super Bowl. So anyway, like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm about to make a second video on race. And um, that's going to be dropping in a couple of weeks. Okay, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And that's my opinion. Peace out.